This is the fall 2021 update on what it's like to fly during the pandemic. Since travel is opening up again between Europe and the United States, I thought I would show what my experience is like. So today I am at Frankfurt Airport in Germany, flying to Atlanta, Georgia in the United States on Lufthansa. The airport seems to be looking a little busier again. Seems like more people are starting to fly again. So let's see what it's like inside. So I just checked in, they wanted to see my negative COVID test and the two forms of the attestation for the CDC that I filled out. If you do not have a copy of that, they do have some here printed out that they will give you. But he was very happy that I had the form. He said I was actually the only one so far today that had checked in and had brought the form. I just made it through security, which took a little longer than expected. So now I'm gonna rush to my gate the flight leaves in 45 minutes, but boarding is in 10 minutes. So I got to the gate just in time. They're already boarding behind me. Looks like there's one last document control, probably a COVID test check, and then we'll get on the plane. Here's our airplane, getting one last breath of maskless fresh air before I get in. Every passenger got one of these disinfecting wipes that I'm going to use to wipe down everything around my seat that I might be touching. I also get this cool little amenity kit, which is wrapped in a reusable shopping bag. Let's see what's inside. I think it's a good idea that they're no longer including earplugs and sleep masks in every kit. We have a pair of socks wrapped around a toothbrush and toothpaste and some lip balm and moisturizer. I'm going to take the socks and put them on over my own socks so I can take my shoes off and be a little more comfortable during this flight. We are ready for takeoff. So we are getting ready to eat some lunch now. I'm sitting in business class and it seems to be pretty full. I only saw empty seats and I have someone sitting next to me so I can't be filming the whole time obviously. Now we're gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna take a nap after because I'm really exhausted. I've got my sleep mask though which in case I fall asleep before lunch comes around hopefully they'll wake me up. So I will check in with you guys later. Here is the menu that I am going to be choosing my lunch from. I decided to go with the tomato appetizer and the salmon entree. And I'm just gonna finish watching this movie and then take my nap.
We have about two hours left and I decided to get some work done. And we were also just served a snack, which is some smoked tuna. Delicious. I made it off the plane. Immigration was a really quick process because I have global entry, so it only took about a minute to get through everything. Then there were a lot of people at baggage claim and our bags didn't come out for a while, so I was waiting there for about 10 minutes. Now I have my bags and I'm going to head out of the airport. I finally made it outside. So a couple of things. I didn't follow my own rule of bringing different masks. I was wearing the same mask the whole time and my face really started to get sore. So that's a tip I have. Always make sure to bring multiple masks. Make sure they are N95 masks or medical masks because most airlines, I think most international airlines require you to wear one of those instead of a regular cloth mask. And also in the airport in Germany, you're also not allowed to wear a cloth mask. And my second tip is to Make sure you get to the airport with plenty of time to spare. I was cutting it a little close this morning. I got to the airport an hour and a half before my flight and between the lines at check-in and through security, it actually took me a while to get to the gate and I got there just as people were already boarding. So it could have gone badly, uh, but luckily it didn't. So yeah, I would suggest to get to the airport at least two hours ahead of time because things are picking up and people are flying again. So if you have any questions about any upcoming travels of yours or of anything you saw in this video, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer it.